In this video, we will cover how to create a custom email for both your end users and internal teams after a form has been submitted. To get started, we're going to navigate to our form settings. This can be done by clicking on settings under the form name from the forms page, or by clicking on the settings tab from the builder. It's worth mentioning that the settings only apply to this specific form and not other forms on your account. Now that you're on the settings page, you're going to jump into your emails and actions tab here on the left hand side. You'll see that you have the option to add a notification email and a confirmation email. The difference between these two types of emails is that a notification is going to be internal, alerting a team member that somebody submitted a form. A confirmation, on the other hand, will be sent to the individual who filled out your form, notifying them when their form submission has been received. To set up either type of email, you'll need to click on the Add a Notification Email button or Add a Confirmation Email button. With a HIPAA account, you'll notice that you do not have the option to send form fields in either of these types of emails unless you have SMTP enabled on your account. If you have more questions about setting up SMTP on your account, or if it's included in your plan, Formstack has some excellent resources on our Help Center, or you can always reach out to our support team for any additional questions. Let's go ahead and start with setting up a notification email. From the top, we have the option to customize the email name, as well as the ability to change the email address from where the response would come from. In this case, it's defaulted to no reply at formstack.com, but can be changed if you have SMTP settings enabled. The next box will allow you to select the individual who you want to send the notification to. Again, the notification will be internal and will need to be sent to a user on the account. Moving down the list, you will notice you can change the subject of the email and also have the option to either link to the submitted data or create a custom message. In this example, we can create something like, hi, you have a new submission. And that's the message that will be received in this notification email. Submitted data will typically be the most common information that's included in these emails. Once you're satisfied with all of the settings for your notification email, you can then select Save Notification Email, and you will see a confirmation of the settings being saved. To add a confirmation email, you will go through similar steps. First, select the Add a Confirmation Email button to get started. As a reminder, HIPAA accounts cannot include form fields as a result of potential PHI, or personal health information, being sent through email. You can, however, change the email name as well as send to an email that's listed on the form. Similar to the notification email, you can change the subject as well as send a custom email message to your form submitter. For example, you could let them know, hey, we've received your submission, or here's our contact information if you'd like to notify us of any changes. Once you're happy with your message, you can then click Save Confirmation Email and you should see a new confirmation email being saved under this section. In addition to creating these confirmation and notification emails, you can also specify if you want to create any logic for how these emails are sent. For instance, let's say you only want a notification email sent out if a certain answer was selected from one of our form fields. To accomplish this, you can click on the Logic tab and then specify your conditions. Using our previous example, you've decided that you only want this email to be sent out internally if your submitter has chosen Fever. As you can see, you can select one or multiple fields to apply the logic to. For this example, you will select only one symptom and hit Save to finalize these changes. If you'd like to test your email for accuracy, simply click the Test button. Changes are easy. You can select the Edit button if you want to make any modifications, or the red minus sign button to remove the notification or confirmation emails altogether. That's how to set up your emails and create meaningful actions on your forms. Just a quick reminder, you can select this I button on the top right corner to search for a support article or contact support by creating a new ticket. Thank you for watching our video, and we look forward to working with you on your next Formstack project.